Well, it's pretty rare, and it's even more unusual that this is the second time that Jay Leno is leaving when he's at the top. Obviously, in 2009, when he left the show originally, he was number one. And then, of course, we remember the late-night debacle where he ended up once again hosting The Tonight Show. And now he's leaving in 2014 and again at number one. But, of course, Johnny Carson left, and, and he was at the top of his game in, in, in uh, 1992. But it's it's still pretty rare for someone to leave when they're still uh, kicking butt. Even ask Jay, and he admits that had Jimmy Fallon not been around, he could have hosted this show for several more years. The last time that Leno left, he was forced out. This time around, he says he's leaving voluntarily. Is that entirely true? Well, it's not entirely true that he's leaving voluntarily. Obviously, this was a, a, a situation that uh, you know was presented to him, and he agreed to leave. So it wasn't his idea to leave. It was NBC's idea with, with Jimmy Fallon waiting in the wings. And, and obviously demographics are changing, and, and Jimmy's a younger guy, gets a younger audience. And, and NBC realized that uh, they wanted to make that change. But they, they presented it to Jay, and Jay's saying that he's leaving of, of his own accord. Of course, he did say that also in when, when he left in 2009, and it turns out not to have been true. So I think he's he's come to, to terms with this. I think he's made peace with the idea that he's leaving The Tonight Show. I'm sure it's tough. I think with Jay, he loves being uh, you know out there every night and, and being in the, the, the public consciousness and, and riffing on the, the headlines. And, and you know he loves telling jokes, and he loves having an audience. And, and The Tonight Show has given him a huge audience, and that's gonna that's tough. That's tough to give up. But I think he uh, he's kind of it seems like he's made peace with that. Do you think we'll see him back on TV anytime soon? I think we'll see him back on TV. Um, I don't know how soon, but uh, in the next uh, you know year or two, he'll decide what he wants to do. Uh, you know, he has sworn up and down that he doesn't want to do another t- talk show like The Tonight Show, and I believe him in that. You know, he says you can't top The Tonight Show, and that's that's true. He's he was number one for so many years. I think it would be tough to come back and do, as he calls it, The Tonight Show light, and to not be number one. Uh, you know, he's a competitive guy just like anyone else, and and uh, you know, I don't think he would want to come back to an inferior product. So I think he'll he will do something different. The, the only question is, what is that going to be? In the meantime, I'm sure he'll be out doing stand-up. Oh, the next day. Uh, His final show is next Thursday, and he's already got dates in Florida on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So he'll be touring. Uh, If if you need to see Jay Leno, if you need to get your fill of Jay, it won't be hard to find him. Now, uh, this is also sort of a big moment for the NBC studio in Burbank. More than 150 people are being laid off. This is a sort of a somewhat hallowed studio in L.A. history, I think, um, with Johnny Carson and now Jay Leno. What's to become of that, and how big of a blow is this to L.A. production, do you think, that it's moving to New York? Well, you know, to, to some degree, uh, you know, this is sort of the last vestige of NBC in Burbank. Most of NBC had, had already moved to Universal City. Uh, the only thing left in Burbank now is, is KNBC, but even KNBC is moving to Universal uh, pretty soon. They're, they're building a new studio for, for the TV station, and when that happens, all of NBC will be gone. Uh, it's already called the Burbank Studios. It hasn't been NBC in a couple years now. But, you know, it's it's one less talk show in, in L.A. Now, granted, we, we have Jimmy Kimmel still out here. We have Arsenio Hall out here. We have Craig Ferguson out here. So we still do have several talk shows out here, uh, uh, Chelsea Handler. So, uh, you know, it's there, there's still a big L.A. talk show presence out here. But, you know, that's that's the granddaddy. That's the big one, The Tonight Show. And that's, you know, psychologically, it's 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 a little bit of a blow to L.A. and L.A. production. It's a matter of prestige. Yeah, it's it's the number one show in late night, and uh, you know we've had it, and we've had it since the '70s when Johnny Carson moved out here, and uh, uh, you know for LA, it's it's a bummer to see it move back to New York. Just lastly, when you look back at Jay Leno's career on the Tonight Show, 22 years—that's a really long time, um, and most of that time he's been on the top, at least of his time slot. What comes to mind when you think about Jay Leno? The thing about Jay Leno is, you know, he never got the critical acclaim. He never got a lot of the awards. Uh, you know, he, he you know, uh, was was criticized for toning down his his uh, his act and, and maybe going too mainstream. But you can't argue with success. And the fact that he was number one for most of his reign, for most of those 22 years, uh, you, you, you have to give him credit for that. You have to bow down and say, you know, he did what he set out to do, which was to keep The Tonight Show the most watched talk show in America. And to that degree, you have to tip your hat to that legacy.